Hey, what's up guys? Alton Anastasio here with flightpath.com. So if you picked up your Mavic or you're still thinking about picking one up, I just want to talk to you a little bit about accessories uh, and go through with you the top three accessories that I normally use every time I fly my DJI Mavic Pro. So now that you picked up your Mavic Pro, I just want to go through with you the top three accessories that I like to use when transporting and flying my DJI Mavic Pro. So the first thing we'll do is talk about cases. Now, everyone has their own ideal way of transporting them. So what I'm gonna do in this video is just talk to you a little about some of the products that I've used. So this isn't really focused on any particular brand, but of course I'm gonna talk about the ones that I've used and reviewed in the past. There's definitely a ton of brands out there, so feel free to do your research. Just as, This is just another video here to help you uh, give you a little bit more context behind some of the stuff that I've used and maybe some of these might work for you as well. So what I want to do is in kind of group these cases out a little bit easier. So we'll talk about small, medium and large cases and I'll tell you exactly what I use them for and maybe you might have the same use for them as well. So when we talk about small cases, uh, I really talk about something like this where you're just holding the DJI Mavic in a nice small case by itself. And this something like this, and this just happens to be from GoScope. And all these products, like I said, I'll actually link them all down below in the description, uh, just so you know exactly which ones I'm talking about. But like I mentioned, there's a ton of, a ton of you know other cases out there. Feel free to do your research. Um, but of course, just because we're talking about specific ones here, I will leave that information down below in the description. Uh, so for instance, this one is just a basic zip case, really, really small and compact, has a small pocket up top for cables, but all you're really gonna do is just put the DJI Mavic in here, zip this up, and they also come with you know, another small case that can hold your remote as well as another battery. So for these types of flyers that really wanna travel light, these small cases like this are perfect if you just wanna keep this thing nice and protected, and then you wanna throw this into your existing backpack or existing bag. These make it really small, compact, and um, actually really durable for you to then put into another backpack. Uh, I also carry around a DSLR backpack, so this fits nicely like where a lens would go, so this just fits perfectly within those slots. But these types of cases, where they're small and kind of modular basically, uh, that way you can put this here, you can put one here, put one there, depending on what type of bag you wanna carry. And it makes it really easy for you to transport your Mavic in a small case. And you can toss these almost pretty much anywhere. The second case we'll go through is what I'm calling more of the medium. And a medium is, it's a case that's meant to hold your Mavic, and a couple batteries, as well as your remote control and maybe some accessories. But that would be more of the core type of flyer where you just need just the core basics as well as an extra couple batteries. So this one happens to be from Polar Pro and you're able to put the Mavic right here up top. There's enough room to hold two batteries right here as well as your remote control and some cables. And I actually have a slot here um, like I mentioned, you can hold a, you can hold two batteries in this area right here. So if you wanted to, you know, just have something that's like I, like I'm calling it more on the medium side. And this is perfect where I actually just took this one out with me traveling when I went to uh, Denver. And it's a good size that holds everything you need right here. And then what I did is actually stuffed this thing into my luggage. So I had an extra space in my luggage. I could technically still fit this in my backpack as well. It wouldn't really fit in one of the backpacks that have a lot of like, like DSLR you know, dividers unless you open them all up. Uh, but if you just had a regular backpack, something like this, where you are able to stick this in, I put this in my carry-on luggage and it just fits nicely in my luggage there. And I'm able to have an all-in-one package here that gives me enough power for you know a good two to three uh, three uh, batteries, so that's pretty much a good, almost an hour worth of flying in one case. Now the last case we'll talk about is some something that has and can carry a little bit of everything. So I actually carry this case when I know I'm gonna be going and shooting for a longer period of time, and I know exactly where I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna be out in the field in a specific area, and I don't, I just wanna pack everything into here. So this case is from Go Professional Cases, 
And this one, of course, holds your Mavic. It holds the battery chargers. It, it can hold one, two, three, four extra batteries. There's another slot here for accessories, an accessory one up here, areas for filters and things like that. Uh, of course, the remote. But this is one that you wanna bring out into the field where you want to have a little bit more protection, say if you were to take it out onto like a boat or something and you wanted to make sure you had something that's a little bit more, more secure, more heavy duty, uh, water resistant, things like that. Like I said, this is from GPC. I've actually done a few uh, hard case reviews. Uh, I think I just did one on Freewell and I'm also doing another one on Polar Pro. So uh, stay tuned for some of those other videos upcoming. But uh, this is one that you wanna bring out if you know that you need a little bit more power, you need a little bit more ruggedness uh, on your shoot. And this is actually something that I just brought out recently for another shoot I just did because I was carrying a lot of other things with it. I wasn't traveling uh, on a plane or anything. I knew exactly what I needed. I know I needed to pack this up with about four batteries. That's something that these can, you know, can't do. Of course, you can stuff your bag batteries within other pouches of your backpack. But if you just wanted to look at all-in-one solutions, something like this works really well. Like I mentioned, this one is from Go Professional Cases and this one is meant to hold uh, a lot more gear uh, for your DJI Mavic, as well as provide you a lot more security with things like uh, lockable hinges right here and a little bit weather sealing. So the next thing we'll do is talk about ND filters. Uh, this is one of those ones where you'll definitely want to have a nice set in your bag when you're traveling, because just to sum up what ND filters do, they really allow you to adjust uh, and lower the shutter speed of your, of your DJ Mavic Pro because you're not actually able to change the aperture because it is a fixed aperture lens. So what these do is they allow you to say, for instance, if you're shooting in bright, bright daylight and you can only dial it into you know, one one thousand, one two thousandth of a second uh, because it's so bright. What these allow you to do is now when you put these onto your lens, it will now bring down that shutter speed. And the reason why you'll want to bring that shutter speed down is to slow uh, have a little bit more cinematic or slow motion in the video itself. Because if you're shooting at a very, very high shutter speed, basically every frame will be very crisp and you're not gonna see that much natural blur in the video. These allow you to now lower that shutter speed down from say something like one one thousandth of a second to something like one uh, one sixtieth or you know one ninetieth of a second. And, and it allows you to now, if you have motion in the waves or motion in cars passing by, it, it gives you that, that little motion in the video where if you were shooting with that one, it'll, it'll have a very crisp video, it won't look as natural as you would if you're shooting with a, uh, an ND filter. So I would just suggest, you know, looking at, there's multiple brands out there, Sandmark, Polar Pro, I just happen to have some Polar Pros with me, but look at getting a set something that has a good range, ND8, ND16, ND32, even up to 64. Uh, I personally also have used an ND1000 when I'm doing long exposure photography. So um, look into getting a set uh, for your DJI Mavic in order for you to have a little bit more control over that shutter speed, which allows you to get, then get a little bit more cinematic video uh, out of your Mavic Pro. And like I said, I'll go ahead and post all the links that I have above that talks about some of the videos that I've done, as well as down below of some of the products that I've reviewed and had experiences with uh, on the Mavic. So this last accessory is more, I would say, more of a preference uh, on my end. And that is, I like to fly with iPads and ju or just larger screens in general. The majority of you guys will probably just fly with your phone underneath here and, and that'll work fine. And I still do that as well if I just know I need a quick flight up. Uh, but at any point in time, if I'm able to set up and I'm, I'm able to bring out my tablet, something like this, which is a tablet holder, and this one just happens to be from Mavmount. I've definitely done a bunch of reviews on them before. I haven't tried uh, many other tablet mounts yet, so if you have some tablet mounts that you want reviewed, uh, I'm definitely open to reviewing some of them. Uh, this one is from Mav Mount. I know there's another one from like Sky Treat or Sky Read or something like that. And there's a, a lot of other ones online, a lot on, on Amazon. Um, but uh, I personally love flying with the tablet. So basically, instead of you with flying with a phone down here, uh, what you're able to do, just to show you really quickly, is 
you are able to now fly with a tablet instead of a phone. So these types of mounts allow you to now use your tablet device, whether it's Android or iOS, uh, with a nice large screen. Yes, it makes your setup a lot bigger, but you know, at any point, personally, I think if you're flying and you have the opportunity to bring something like this, it just makes the experience a lot more enjoyable. Uh, you're able to view your screen at a distance like this instead of looking at it really, really close onto your phone and it makes flying just a lot more natural by holding it this way and looking down at your screen versus like I mentioned, looking at a really small phone. So is it necessary? It's not necessary of course to fly it, but like I mentioned, these are just products that I've been using and I highly recommend trying them because it, it does produce a lot, uh, a lot different of an experience flying it uh, through an iPad. Uh, with this large monitor versus flying it on a phone. So uh, my third tip or my third accessory I would, I would like you to look into is just looking into something like this, which is a tablet holder, uh, an Android or iOS tablet holder uh, that's, that you can use for your DJI Mavic remote. So that's about it guys. Like I mentioned, I just wanna do a quick video to show you some of the accessories I like to use when I fly. Uh, I hope you know you guys got some value from my video. All the stuff that I talked about will be down below. Feel free to use those links for your, while you're doing your research. Uh, and I will link each one of these. And when it comes out to the cases, just because I know that there are so many uh, I've tested in the past and I know there's a lot of them out there. So I will separate those in the description and I will talk about them as small, medium, and large types of cases. Uh, the filters, like I said, I've actually reviewed a bunch of different types of filters. So I will, I will put the filter links down below as well. Mav mount also is another one that I've used. I'd like to um, see what other, uh, what other tablet holders are out there. I know I've seen a bunch on Amazon and a few others uh, via email and on some forums. So once I get a hold of those other mounts, I'll definitely do a review for you guys. But once again, I hope you guys got some value from my video. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. I do a lot of these drone and tech videos uh, on this channel. So if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. And if you wanna be notified when I post new videos, don't forget to hit that bell uh, before leaving. That's about it. Thanks again for watching. This is Aldrin Astasio with flightpath.com. See you in the next video. Peace.